Welcome to Kansas Talking Books Bar Tutorial on how to search for, download, and transfer books. The first step to search for, download, and transfer books is to navigate to the BARD website at nlsbard.loc.gov. Once you have reached the BARD website, log into BARD using the email address and password you set up. Once you have entered this information, click Login. This should take you to the BARD main page. Once you have reached the BARD main page, there are several ways to browse for a book. By selecting the Recently Added Books link, you can browse BARD books added in the last 30 days. Use the back button to navigate back to the BARD main page. Once you've reached the BARD main page, you can select the Most Popular Books link and browse the BARD books most downloaded in the last 90 days. Navigate back to the BARD main page and use the drop down box next to Browse by Author's Last Name to browse books by the first letter of the author's last name. Once you have selected the letter that you are interested in browsing by, select Go or hit Enter. If you would prefer to browse by book title, again navigate back to the BARD main page. Use the drop down box to select the letter which you would like to browse by and hit enter or select go. You can also search for books by subject. Navigate back to the main page, choose the subject from the drop down box that interests you and hit enter or select go. The best way to search for a specific book is to use the search the collection function located between the most popular books link and the browse by author's last name drop down box. In the search the collection box, enter a title, author, subject, series, annotation, narrator, or book number that you are interested in searching for. Hit enter or select go. This will bring you to a page displaying your results by title, author, subject, annotation, book number, or narrator. The book I'm searching for is Dewey, the small town library cat who touched the world. BARD results contain the title, author, narrator, reading time, main subject, an annotation, and underneath the annotation there is a link. The link begins with the word download, and in this case reads Download Dewey, the small town library cat who touched the world, and the book number. For whatever book you're searching for, the title and book number will change, but the link will always begin Download. Select the download link. You should be prompted to either open or save the download. In this case, you want to save the download. Choose where you would like the book to save. I usually save mine to the desktop because it's easy to find. Once you have chosen where you would like your book to download to, select Save. Your file should begin to download. Download time will depend upon the speed of your internet connection and the size of the book. Once your book has finished downloading, navigate to where you saved it and open the folder, either by double clicking on it or by selecting it and pressing enter. Do not attempt to extract the files as this process does not always work properly and can lead to problems with book playback. Once the folder has been opened, there should be a number of files contained inside it, anywhere from 15 to approximately 40, depending on the length of the book. Once these files are available, press Ctrl and A to select all the files, and then Ctrl and C to copy the files. When you press Ctrl and A, the files should become highlighted. When you press Ctrl and C to copy the files, nothing should happen. This is entirely normal. The copy function has still worked. At this point, you should plug in your flash drive or talking book cartridge that you plan to use to transfer books. The flash drive or talking book cartridge window should either open automatically or give you an option to open it. Once you have opened the flash drive or digital talking book cartridge, you are ready to transfer your books. If you are planning to transfer more than one book onto the flash drive or talking book cartridge, Create a folder to place the current book in by selecting Make New Folder from the left side menu for XP, or the Organize button and then New Folder for Vista, or the New Folder button underneath the address bar for Windows 7. Once you've created the new folder, name it something that will help you to identify which book is in it. 
Press Enter. This should apply the name to the folder. Press Enter again to open the folder. Once you've opened the folder on your flash drive, select Control and V as in Victory to paste the book files into the folder. This process may take some time. Please be patient while the files finish transferring. Once you have finished transferring the books you have downloaded, unplug the flash drive from your computer and plug it into the side of your digital talking book machine. Turn the machine on. The machine should announce the number of books on the flash drive. The first book on your flash drive or digital talking books cartridge should play automatically. To navigate to the second book, utilize the bookshelf function. To access the bookshelf, press and hold the green square play stop button for approximately five seconds. The player should beep and say bookshelf. To navigate to the second book, press the fast forward button once. The player should announce book two, the title, and the book number. Once this announcement has concluded, press the play button to start playing the second book. To go back to the first book, again access the bookshelf by pressing down and holding the green square play stop button until the machine beeps and says bookshelf. This time, instead of using the fast forward button to move to the second book, Use the rewind button to the left of the play stop button to move backwards on the bookshelf. If your bookshelf doesn't work or you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact Talking Books' regional office at 1-800-362-0699. Again, that number is 1-800-362-0699.